Good morning students. Welcome back to the learning of English. I hope you all are healthy and fine. From this video, we begin our term 2 session. In this term 2 session, we will learn the same way as we did in term 1. So, for this session, we begin our learning from chapter 9 of Real English Course Book. The name of the chapter is What Color Is That Creature? In this video, we will read aloud the chapter and try and find out what the chapter is about. So I hope you remember that this is your real English course book. You need to take this real English course book while you are watching this video which means you need to keep your book also open along with the video yes we move on to the contents page so open your book to the contents page and we are going to do chapter 9 as I told earlier. The name of the chapter is What Color Is That Creature? It is a play. And the chapter is on page number 53. So I would want you to turn to page number 53 so that you can read aloud the chapter along with me. By doing this, you will be able to know the pronunciation of difficult words and also improve your reading skills. So let us turn on to page number 53 and read this play. What color is that creature? Let's read aloud. On page number 53, chapter 9, What color is that creature? This chapter is a play. And in this play, we have four characters. The name of the four characters and who they are are given below. Raja Ram is a doctor's assistant. So he works in a clinic and assists, helps a doctor. Shyamlal is a stable keeper. A stable is a place where you keep horses. So he works at a stable and he takes care of it. Bahadur is a honey seller. He collects honey and sells it in the market. The hermit he is an old hermit, a pundit, a saint who lives in the forest. Now this play has two scenes. Scene 1 is at one location and scene 2 is at the other location. 
Therefore, the play is divided into two locations. Let us begin our reading. We start with scene one of the play. What color is that creature? The scene begins in the location. It is a village square. There is a neem tree with a platform around it for people to sit on. Rajaram and Shyamlal are in a friendly chat. Below are the dialogues spoken by our characters. Rajaram says, Where is our friend Bahadur today? I hope the spirits of the woods haven't eaten him up. Shyamlal or a bear because he steals all the honey. Ha ha! Both laugh. Bahadur enters. Bahadur says, Sorry friends, I got late. I had to take a longer route to get back from the forest. There was a herd of elephants on my way. You know how dangerous they are. Rajaram replied, Well, we were talking about your adventures in the woods. Ha ha! Rajaram and Shyamlal laugh again. Let's turn our page and read further. Bahadur said, I saw a strange creature today on the banyan tree near the great buffalo lake in the forest. It was still like a stone. It looked so frightening. It was blood red in color. Shyamlal said, Oh yes, I know about this creature. Last week, one of my master's horses had gone missing. I went to the buffalo lake looking for it. There I saw this strange creature. But it was green, not red as you said. Bahadur got puzzled, confused and spoke. But how can that be? It looked all the more terrible because of its red color. Rajaram said, Very well, my friends. You are both right, except about one thing. Shyamlal eagerly asked, what is that? Rajaram replied, About the color of the creature. Bahadur said, Then what color do you think it is? Rajaram said, The strange creature in the jungle has a special bluish color. I have seen it quite many times while collecting herbs from the forest. Shyamlal laughed and replied, 
This is very funny. Why don't you ask your master, the doctor, to give you some medicines for madness? He looked at Bahadur and asked, What do you say, Bahadur? Bahadur said, Yes. If the medicine is bitter, let me know, Rajaram. I'll give you some honey to mix it with. Rajaram angrily replied, Shut up, you fools. It is you too who need medicine. For blindness. Rajaram and Shyamlal shout at each other. Shyamlal gets angry and he says, I'll break your head, you quack. He pulls Rajaram by the collar. Bahadur, while pushing Rajaram and Shyamlal apart, said, Calm down, Shyamlal and Rajaram. Let's not fight over little things. Why can't we go to the banyan tree together and see what color the creature is? Rajaram agreed. Yes, that sounds better. Shyamlal said, Let's go straight away with them. Now we move on to the next page. So by the end of scene 1, they all three sat on a village square and talked about the creature and its colour. In scene 2, they now go to the different location that was the banyan tree to find out who was correct about the colour of the creature. Now, let's read scene 2. The banyan tree near the buffalo lake in the forest, a hermit is sitting under the tree with his eyes closed. As the three friends reach the scene, the hermit opens his eyes. The hermit says, Welcome, Bahadur, Shyamlal and Rajaram. Bahadur, surprised, told the hermit, You know our names? We have never met before. The hermit smiled and said, I also know what brings you here. I have been living in this forest for many years. The creature in question is familiar to me. It does not have the same color always. It is sometimes blue and sometimes red. It can appear brown as well. Rajaram said, We were going to kill one another over the color of this creature. How foolish of us! The hermit replied, This creature changes its color 
according to the place where it sits it is called a chameleon it was red when bahadur saw it when shamlal went to the forest the chameleon was sitting in the bushes and it was green then raja ram saw it among blue flowers and it appeared blue to him all of you were right about the color of the creature students i hope you are reading along with me we now move on towards the end of scene 2 the end of the play shyamlal said sir you are a wise man we are sorry about a meaningless quarrel the hermit said the debate about god is like your argument those who know god closely will have no doubt about his nature you may have heard people say what i am saying is right others are wrong my way is the only way and all others are misguided there are arguments of the foolish and the ignorant there are many different and correct points of view about truth bahadur said thank you sir you have taught us an important lesson we shall share this with all the villagers rajaram shyamlal and bahadur thank the hermit and return to the village here we end with our play it is a very simple story three friends and the hermit are the main characters and they talk about a creature which keeps on changing its color and it is known as a chameleon you all might have seen chameleon either to your visits on a trip or forests or maybe in your garden too farm houses a chameleon keeps on changing its color so this story is about not being foolish and ignorant there are many views about truth each and every one of us have our own thinking and we all are correct so this was the story about a chameleon three friends and a hermit what color is that creature so at the end all the three were correct and they also learned an important lesson
So here I end my video. After a long vacation, coming back to the learning sessions is a bit challenging but not difficult. I hope you read aloud the story with me and enjoyed it too. You can subscribe to the channel on the YouTube and also follow the playlist to watch the videos of Term 1 as well as Term 2. Happy learning!